excuse me while I just kick stuff out of my road. Guys, inside this little seven liter dry bag that I have actually compressed quite a good bit. You know, you, you wait until the camera comes on. He waits until the camera comes on. Guys, is one of these things from Vars de Liquor that I have be, had my eyes on for a long, Vars de Liquor, Vars de Liquor, I've had my eyes on for a long, long time, guys. This is the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak, right? Let us have a look at it. This is a decent dry bag, guys. Uh, it, it didn't come with this dry bag, by the way, guys. This is my own dry bag. When I bought this, or sorry, when they sent this to me, it came just cloak on its own, okay? Let's get it out of this bag and let us have a look. Uh, I have to say it fitted quite easy. I, I thought it would be a struggle to get it into this bag. Okay. You're thinking to yourself, what is a thermal cloak, right? Well, a thermal cloak is, is an insulated bivy bag, okay? Basically, this is like a production version of the Ranger Roll, as far as I'm aware of what I think a Ranger Roll is. So it is a waterproof, insulated, reflective bag, okay? This thing is, it looks like your old envelope style sleeping bag that you used to get, okay? So it's rectangular, but it zips round completely, okay? I'm, I'm gonna put it down behind this and show you this, right? It zips completely, so the zips run full length, except for this side here, right? But this is also a tarp, right? So it's a bivy bag, it's a sleeping bag, it's a summer bag, guys. Technically, I'm gonna say, from what I can remember, to about five degrees, okay? Uh, it's a bivy bag, it's a summer bag, it is a tarp, it is a thermal cloak, uh, it, is, it is an emergency shelter, it is like a load of different things in one, okay? We get out and we have a look, or do you want, do you want to see me just try it on? Uh, no, I'm not going to try it on yet, because I haven't tried it on before. I'm not sure if, if, like the German bag, if it actually has armholes and stuff like that, I don't know. But we'll find out, together. So this is it. No, Bruno, away with your stick, go on. This is it, right? This is a three by three meter uh, tarp that I'm standing on here, guys. It's quite substantial. It's, it's, it's quite a piece of equipment. Now, the, uh, the German bag that I have, guys, is the German Mini, right? I know, and I, I did a review of that, guys, and what I said is that if I was to do it again, I would not get the Mini, right? Because it's too small for me. Now, it works as a cloak and it works as an emergency this and emergency that, but to sleep in it, it's too small. It's, it, because you, you can't get it up over your head, okay? This is bigger. Let's look at the specs. Okay, so what I have is the 67 gram Climber Shield insulated in MO5 Winter Camo. Okay, it's a mouthful. So it's 216 square centimeters when it's laid out flat, okay? And it's 216 by 108 when it's zipped shut as it is right now. Uh, it weighs uh, 1500 grams. Pack size is 40 by 20. Six tie down webbing loops, waterproof and thermal reflective shell fabric, waterproof taped seams, guys. Uh, it has Climber Shield Apex insulation. The reinforcements are 500D Cordura and it's NIR compliant, if that means anything to you guys. Okay. Right. So, basically, it's, 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 it's one of these things that does everything, right? Uh, a solid piece of equipment based on a really really good piece of equipment that is is the German bag okay so and it's 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 got this this cool winter camo as well right so look it all zips out zips out completely like this I'm just gonna zip open the top like that so it zips open two way zips on every side probably for me this is going to this is going to replace my bivy bag okay it is also going to replace 
one sleeping bag, right? So I am I am planning to use this as a sleep system, as part of a sleep system. So what that means is that I will get a summer bag and sleep inside this in the summer bag in autumn and spring times like now. And in the winter, I will put my Corinthia Defense 4 into this and I will sleep in it that way, okay? And let's see how big it is. Now, I'm, I'm not a big guy. I'm only five foot seven. Let's get my boots off. That's raining. Okay, that is me at full stretch. My toes are touching the bottom and my hands are right out the top. So it is quite big. It's quite big. Guys, I absolutely love the idea of this. I love the idea of these bags. Uh, for me, these bags are, a, a, you know, put it like this, right? People go on to me sometimes about the price of the gear, price of some of the gear that I review. And the thing about it is, is that a piece of equipment like this is something that lasts you a lifetime. Do you know what I mean? So it's a buy once piece of gear. And that's the sort of stuff at this stage of my life, that's the sort of stuff that I'm after. I'm not after something that'll last me a couple of years and then I need to replace it because it's trashed, okay? I want something that is going to last me for years and years and years and years and years. Okay, I'm gonna to have to move, it's raining. If only I had some sort of thermal cloak type thing that I could put around me to keep me, uh, to keep me dry. By the time it takes me to get all the stuff moved, it'll probably have stopped. Right, I'm just getting out of the rain. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the rain has not stopped. So let us get up close and personal with this thing and let's look at some of the details on this, guys. So we got really heavy duty zips, guys, and th that goes nearly the whole way around, okay, because it, it opens up. Guys, check out these webbing loops, okay? They are serious, heavy duty, well stitched, like really, really well stitched. I feel like they're reinforced there with Cordura as well, just along this section here, if you can see that, guys. Uh, and I have to say, even though this is the winter camo, it's not that bad, okay? I'm gonna go out and stand in the forest now, right? It's not that bad, right? And this is Ireland in spring, you know? So it works. Ugh. Okay, so what do we have? I'm lost now because it's camouflage and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so this 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 is our big zip, right? So what I want to do is I want to flip this over to here, right? So this is this is my center seam right here. And what we have guys is we have pull-out points or we have tabs, tie-out tabs at the at the edges of the center seam. Okay, so what that means is that if you have somewhere set up you or you if you put up a ridge line, you can use this as a tarp, okay? Might be a bit wasted as a tarp, but you can use it as a tarp, all right? So, because of its thermal properties, do you know what I mean? So, guys, I've been looking at this, and I've gone over this, and I, you know, it is just absolute top quality. It is like, there is no issues, you know, there, there's no, it's not like, oh, well, you know, stitching's a wee bit missed here or anything like that, guys. Look, check this stuff out. It is just really, really high quality well-made gear guys and that is just what 
it's just it's just what we've come to expect from Vorstelika, isn't it? Like the the stuff is just it's just really well made. Okay, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to coming up with a new sleep system based around this as well. Okay, and the M05 tarp, which is which is behind you here, guys, which I'm gonna put up and put through its paces right in about five minutes once the rain stops, guys. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, cool. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys, links below. You know the crack. Stay frosty.